What's going on, YouTube? Got a few more Von Miller cards to show. Hadn't made a video in a little while. Didn't pick up a whole lot. Um, everything I have picked up is from eBay. But I've been waiting a while to make a video because I've been waiting for a certain card to come in for quite some time now and finally arrived over Thanksgiving holiday. So I thought I'd go ahead and make the video. Um, first up, uh, this stuff's all from Topps Chrome. Um, this is the Bowman Chrome rookie card uh, parallel thing. Uh, this is the refractor version, numbered 18 out of 99. Um, from the Topps Chrome Superlative Rookies die cuts, this is the red refractor version, numbered 19 out of 25. Then the base rookie card, red refractor, numbered 21 out of 25. Um, this right here is the uh, Crystal Atomic Refractor. I'm not really sure what they're called. But uh, really crazy looking on-card autograph. Numbered... I believe that is 20 out of 50. And the last thing from Chrome, got the Bowman Chrome uh, patch autograph. Uh, really nice three color patch in there, lots of stitching. Um, this is number two out of ten. Just a really nice looking card. Um, from Upper Deck, this was the uh, ultimate. Rookie signatures uh, insert that's out of there. Uh, on card autograph. I'm not 100% sure, so don't quote me, but I'm pretty sure these Ultimate Collection autographs were uh, case hits. Um, they're not numbered, but not an easy card to find. Um, from Inception, we've got a three color patch auto. Really nice signature on this one. Um, this is the green version, number 26 out of 50. And then the last card, the one I've been waiting on. It got lost in the United States Postal System because while the seller filled everything out properly and put the proper address and zip code, the postal worker up here, can't I don't know if that will show up or not, put it in the wrong zip code. So this thing was shipped from Ohio on November 12th and it was not scanned until November 18th. And it was scanned at a sorting facility here in Missouri that I had never heard of. So it took six days to get from Ohio to this one sorting facility and then it just sat there and I couldn't figure out what the deal was or why it went there. Finally got in a hold of the postal system and they were able to figure out that the zip code that they put for the uh, delivery confirmation was incorrect and the sorting facility in Missouri instead of actually looking at the actual address on the package just kept sending it out for delivery and it would come out as undeliverable because the address did not exist in the town they were trying to send it to. It has five different stickers on here that you can just see where they had been stuck on where I'm guessing they put uh, uh, wrong address or whatever it was on there. But this thing finally arrived November 25th. So it was in Missouri from the 18th through the 25th just bouncing around. And it was finally rerouted properly and I was able to go pick it up today from the post office. And the reason it was freaking me out so much is because of what this card is. Yeah. This is from 2011 Topps Finest. This is the Patch Rookie Card Super Fractor 1 of 1. This, this card's absolutely insane. I have never seen let alone owned a super fractor before. I can't believe how great these things look in person. 
they're just insane. Uh, awesome patch in there with obviously the NCOS from Broncos from right across the plate there on the front of the jersey. Um, paid quite a bit of money for this card, but I think it's going to end up being a steal because this guy is playing out of his mind. Should be defensive rookie of the year. Um, hoping he breaks Javon Curse's uh, rookie sack record. I believe the the record is 14 and a half, and he, uh, he's at 10 and a half right now. Um, yeah, and, uh, and on top of the package being looking like it had been through hell and back, for whatever reason, the seller decided to send this card in a sandwich top loader. I, I absolutely astonished that it had arrived in good condition after being in the postal system for 16 days. But, uh, can't, I just don't understand people's logic. Instead of spending the 30 or 50 cents for the proper top loader, they just sandwich it, put it in a top, or a penny sleeve, and then stick it between two top loaders and think that that's the proper way to ship these things. And it just boggles my mind. But, Anyway, it got here, perfectly safe, great condition, it just took a long while, but uh, yeah, that's all I've got for now, um, even though this was all about Broncos in this video, the main thing, this team right here, we're now 11-0, took care of the Detroit Lions on Thanksgiving Day, made it a great Thanksgiving, uh, hopefully we can keep it rolling against the Giants which I feel is the toughest game we have left on the schedule. Um, going to New York, and you never know which Eli you're going to get. So hopefully we catch them on an off week and able to wrap it up early in the third quarter. Or so, But uh, thanks for watching my video. Again, I'm just so happy to have this card in my collection. Just absolutely gorgeous. But uh, until next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.